Uh, Mr President, I thank the parliament for an opportunity to speak with my colleagues on one last occasion. I entered this place in July 2004. Almost nine years later, it is time to embark on a new journey to embrace a new, fresh direction in a new part of my life. I am grateful and fortunate for many things in my life, and in particular for the chance to again choose the time and place of my departure. When I joined Young Labor in 1981, I had no grand political ambitions. I was just keen and excited to be involved. My first involvement in an election campaign was for a young, gangly journalist with a booming voice and more than a passing resemblance of one of my great political heroes, Abraham Lincoln. My father and mother, who were small business people in Maroubra, were horrified when they discovered in 1983 I was pamphleting for one Robert J. Carr. Yeah. <laughs> to, add insult to, injury, <laughs> to add insult to injury, uh, my parents, to, to add insult injury to my parents, John and Shirley, I corralled the other campaign workers into their cake shop and offered them all free refreshments. Oh, that's that was 30 yeah. years ago. That's where it started. Order. 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 I, I think my dad was particularly <laughs> amazed I cake. that my new labour mates Order. were more interested in his sugary sweets than visiting the local the pub. That politics in this country still had an innocence unlike the darker experiences of his own childhood. Today, then as today, I count myself lucky. I'm the son of a Jewish refugee from a war-ravaged Europe who was fortunate enough to attain every opportunity to contest and hold some of the most senior positions in the Australian Labor Party and in state government. Being a member of parliament is a 24-hour day job. Being a minister of the Crown is a 25-hour day job that places immeasurable burdens on families and friends. I want to express my sincere gratitude to my family for all of their tolerance and patience throughout my career. My wife Amanda and my children Liam, Harry and Gemma have had to endure much of the trials and tribulations of my political life, from the early morning calls to the very, very late night calls. Without their support and understanding, I would not have been able to fulfil my job. Too often we forget the personal impact public life can inflict on our loved ones and on our relationships. And I want to acknowledge my deep felt love and gratitude to my family for all their support. I thank the House for its consideration. Yeah.